Hi, and welcome to the last part of this tips and tricks series on the interactions or contacts. So this part is about the interaction levels. So we have three levels when it comes to defining interactions. We have the global interaction, the component interaction, and the local interaction. So let's start with the first level, the global interaction that we can define inside a component interaction by using this global interaction option. So as it says, it's a global interaction, so it will globally create interactions between parts, between the bodies, so we can save up a lot of time creating, uh, instead of creating multiple interactions individually. So in this example, we can specify that all parts will receive a bounded interaction or a contact or something else. If we uncheck this global interaction, we can manually select parts where we would like to search or apply con uh, uh, interactions to. All right, so these two levels, component and global, are more general. Okay? They, they allow they will allow us to create uh, interactions automatically. Uh, so let's have a look at the last one, which is the local interaction. Uh, it is a more specific interaction because it will allow us to select very specific entities such as uh, these uh, two faces uh, where we have a contact, for example. Um, so when choosing a local interaction, we have all available types uh, in uh, this menu, but we also get access to advanced options that we cannot find in a global or component interaction. Uh, all right, so uh, the next thing we're going to look at is the interaction viewer. This allows us to have a uh, review or a summary of all interactions created using colors so it's very simple we can select an interaction it will tell us where is interaction and the parts involved uh, let's end with an article that i would like to share with you uh, so simply search for automatic bonding so there's an article here showing some examples of um, cases where an automatic, in other words, a global or component interaction can take care of. Okay, so we, we don't need to apply manual or local interactions to take care of these specific cases. This ends the last part of this series on the interactions or contacts. Uh, thank you very much for watching and so let's wrap it up and uh, stay tuned for our next uh, series of tips and tricks.